Cypress trees are some of the most iconic trees in the south. They are found in swamplands. They have huge buttressing roots which help to support the tree in mucky environments. Cypress trees are some of the best trees at surviving in underwater conditions. They have adapted special abilities like spiring roots which exceed out of the ground like columns or stalagmites. They are believed to aid in gas exchange due to the anaerobic environment created from water. Other theories are they are giant thorns to prevent dinosaurs from feeding on the foliage. Cypress trees are able to survive underwater as long as the foliage is not underwater, still allowing it to produce sugars through a process called photosynthesis. We decided to take our boat out to the lake and find some cypress trees and see if we could determine how much of a cypress tree could be under the water. These cypress trees were up to two thirds of the way underwater, just a small bit of foliage on top. Cypress trees are very important to the Native American cultures. They use the moss to braid ropes that grows on cypress. They use the wood to create dugout canoes and help them travel the waterways. Cypress trees tend to be large woody trees and the wood is highly resistant to decay. Most things made out of cypress wood would outlast you or I. This is one of the oldest known cypress trees in north central Florida. It is called the Big Dan Cypress. It is estimated to be almost 2,000 years old. We don't fully understand the relationship between cypress knees and cypress trees. However, we do know the older the cypress tree, the more knees it has. And the higher the water level, the taller the cypress knees are. This cypress tree has some of the tallest cypress knees I've ever seen. Some of these knees were almost nine feet tall. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Alex Dobosevich. D-O-B-O-S-I-E-W-I-C-Z.